another way. He said that he could have three coins in his pocket, but it could total how much? 30. 30 cents. Tell us how you solve that. So, these could also contain pennies, coins, it's called coins. But tell us what you made. So, I made 30 because they could contain three, two, and that how you could also have three coins or dimes in your pocket. You have three dimes in your pocket, and how do you know it's 30? Prove it to us using what you have. So I know how it's 30 because okay. you told me that there's 10 cents in each one. Okay. And if you and if you had three with uh, if you had 20 with 10, you can get 30. Okay. So two dimes plus another dime. You're, that's how you're getting your 20 plus 10 more would be 30 cents. So three dimes. So, 10, so 20, 10, 20, and 30. 30. Excellent. So, Sean says we could also have 21 cents if we had three coins in our pocket. We're going to see how he does this here. So, I see a penny. And two dimes. Tell us how that equals twenty-one. Because if you had, if you add two tens and one ones, it will e it would equal twenty-one. Excellent job. Noah says there's another combination. If I have three coins in my pocket, I could have a different value. What would it be? You could have three, three pennies. Okay. Because. Is three coins in your pocket, and you could make three because there's there can be three cents because there's because it, you have three coins in your pocket, you could have three cents because each penny is worth one. And so one plus one plus one is? Three. Good job.